What's going on, people? What's going on? What's going on, man? It's your big homie, Big Bad Day, man. Uh, I got a question for y'all, man. I was raised... Well, this ain't... Hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, I, I got a statement. I was raised... My father taught me, and shout out to my father. Um, He taught me family come first. That's how I was raised. Uh, family comes first, man. Uh, that's why I'm here with mine and don't break or stray. You know what I'm saying? But let me ask y'all a question. At a certain point in your life, is family there for you? Or is it friends and acquaintances that you meet in life that are there for you? Now, I'm going to say one thing. My family always support me and always fuck with me, you know, to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? I know they love me and I know people got love for me and stuff like that. But but I but when it comes to um when it comes to um family comes first, sometimes it feel like your family won't even be there for you, but you'll have strangers there for you. You get what I'm saying? And by strangers I mean people you didn't grow up with, people you didn't uh you know grow up with. But it seemed like them be the ones closest to you. Like your family don't really ever support what you got going on. And that's a sad, sad statement. Uh, For me, I could pray and hope that, you know, my people fuck with me and whatever. But I'm going to just be honest with you. I don't even talk to my family like that. I call my family. They rush off the phone with me. Uh, sometimes, sad as it sounds, as sad as it could be, I might get a phone call from my mother with a time limit on it. Like, yeah, I got three minutes to talk to you. And you call me with five to three minutes and stuff. And I'm not trying to throw no shots, man, because I love my mama. And you know, I wouldn't be here without her and shit like that. But I'm just being honest, man. You don't do somebody you love like that. You don't do somebody you love, be quick with them. Or every time you want to talk about something, oh, I got to get off the phone. Or um, somebody's calling me, I got to pick up this and that. Oh, I got to do this, I got to do that. You don't do that to people. If you love somebody, and especially too. During this coronavirus times, your motherfucking funky ass ain't got nothing but time on your hands. Your funky ass got 24 hours on your on your hands and you ain't doing nothing to connect with people you uh, supposedly are supposed to love. And you got all these 24 hours on, every day on your hands. Because people don't realize the majority of America's out of work right now. And even if they acting like they not, motherfuckers is out of work or or slowly but surely getting phased out because it's not the same no more. And with all this going on, all this turmoil, all this separation and um, isolation and stuff like that, we still ain't even linking up. We still ain't even uh, calling each other, making sure we straight. I got family members who are directly connected to this um, to this bullshit via health and health care fields and all that, but it still ain't no direct communication. Look, why niggas scared to talk to Big Bad Day, man? You know what I'm saying? I'm having I'm having conversations with my friends. Like last night, I had a conversation with one of my friends all the way in uh where he live at in in PA, Pennsylvania. And I'm all the way down here where I'm at in the Carolinas. So y'all motherfuckers ain't got no excuse. No excuse to uh not be there for your family, man. And I'm gonna tell you. You only get one Big Bay Day. You only get one Princess China. You only get one family like this. This is iconic shit. And if you want, if you want, you don't want to be here for us. We ain't gonna be here for you, bro. And this ain't no disrespect to nobody or no slick shots to nobody. I'm just saying, reach out and call your people, man. I got friends that call me every week on a weekly basis. I got about three to four people who call me every week and just to just to check in on me and ask me if I'm good. And I. I call people all the time and they don't even answer my phone calls, man. <clears throat> or if I call <clears throat> or if I call somebody they don't, <clears throat> don't want to hear what I'm talking about because their fucking life their lifestyle is too comfortable and their bubbles being popped and they don't know what the fuck to do right now so their ass don't even want to talk to me. And that's what I'm perceiving it to be because if you was a real adult, anybody in this world, if you were in a real adult, you would adjust and keep going and keep moving and you wouldn't let no fucking situation in society stop you or affect your life. Because don't nothing stop or affect your life but your ass. You know, and if you don't want to hear the truth, 
one of the greatest sins in the world is to turn your back away from the fucking truth and close your ears. That's one of the greatest sins in the world. Hear no evil, speak no evil, hear all that bullshit. Because if whether you hear it, speak it, or see it, it's still going on. And your ass still in house arrest. Your ass still on goddamn jail, in home jail right now. And the only difference between you and your home jail, you probably wasn't ready to live like this. Y'all niggas was running around cheating on your women. Y'all niggas was running around dumping your kids off in school. Y'all niggas was ready to, uh, ready to go to work so you can get away from your responsibilities in your life. And guess what? Now you got to deal with it. You know what I mean? I'm losing subscribers. I'm losing friends. I'm gaining. I got, I got good enough subscribers, but I see what's happening. All you pussies are dropping off and I'm not mad at that. And I, cause I need that. I need to weed out the uh the fuck people so i can bring in more and make room for more positive progressive people because there ain't no more time if you're a grown-ass person and you ain't worried about how you're gonna survive next week or next month and i ain't talking about no poop butt ass job because as you see they'll fire you and put you on the bench and don't mean nothing bro but i guarantee you i don't have a job but i guarantee you I got enough money to pay my bills for up to six more months. So while you sorry motherfuckers is worrying about it with your chicken head cut off, worrying about the system, still believing and depending on the system, you need to believe in your brother. You need to believe in your mother. You need to believe in your cousin. And you need to connect with your family and figure a plan out. And you need to believe in God. And you need to believe in God. Number one, believe in God. And that's the truth. Um, that's the truth. You know, not no religion. You need to believe in God Almighty because no matter what you call him, God Almighty is is here and 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 god almighty is listening and god almighty is keeping people like me alive to tell you people what the fuck going on so be thankful and i'm very thankful every day i get on this planet man you know to live this beautiful lifestyle with these beautiful people i'm around and eat this beautiful food to keep my body beautiful and healthy man i better wake the fuck up man you know um and a lot of times, like I said, I'm only talking to a few people on the internet, man, but it's all gravy, though, because the devil ain't never going to, they not ever, you got to understand, people like me was never destined to be sellouts. I was never destined to be where everybody else was destined to be. I was destined to show people what to really be, the real life, family, love, eternity, Cause eternity is when you when you bonded with your kids and you gave them a chunk of you and you already gave them your DNA. So after you gave them your DNA, then you gave them your chunk of your 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 being and they carry that shit on. This is eternity, man. Niggas don't even know what life is about. Y'all are some fucking pussies scared about your NBA games and worried about your fucking lack of thereof ceremonies and your lack of. And your lack of being able to eat out and your lack, 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 because y'all been lacking because y'all ain't been doing right. If you was living the real lifestyle, this would not really affect you like that. It would not affect you. Corona, what? Sick wear. Drink probiotics. Drink lemon, ginger, and healthy. Eat right. Be right. And you won't even have to worry about this shit. Y'all niggas are so wrong, you don't even know what to do. You know, and, and I'm not down in nobody. But the facts is the facts, man. Does family matter to y'all? When the last time you called somebody in your family? When the last time you told one of your brothers you loved them? When the last time you told your kids, your mom or your cousin? When the last time you told your daddy that you hated your whole life that you love them? Y'all niggas hate motherfuckers that your whole life, but they never bridged the gap. You ain't never went and try to make shit better. You just go and hate and hate and hate and hate. And guess what? It only burns a hole in your dark ass soul, man. Wake up, man. Be positive, man. These are good times, man. We have we at home with the family. Get your unemployment rolling. Get your, it's just the freest we ever been, like my my wife just said. Get your unemployment rolling, get your money, get some shit rolling, secure some. And I oops, I forgot. Most of y'all niggas was not doing the things the proper way in the system. Y'all niggas was trying to be outlaws and fuckboys. Now this shit ain't worked out for you. This shit is this shit is working out for the people who've been working out. And I've been working for America, bro. The only thing I'm worried about now is some, some secret shit. You know what I mean? But that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, man. Family is the most important thing, man. 
call somebody today and tell them you love them. Man, I got people that I only known for ye- a couple few years telling me they love me, you know, and praying for me and shit. So all that family, I better tighten the fuck up, man. I'm ashamed of, of my of of the relationship I have with my family. I'm ashamed of it because to the because niggas made niggas, bro. Like niggas made, bro. I made niggas, bro. I made niggas. I taught everybody most everything they know, and I pay homage into the my brothers who paid the way. Big Yacht, H Paper, Killer Q, my sister Falami, all my people, man. My daddy, my mom, I, I big shout out to y'all. You know, help develop me. But I done made niggas, bruh. I made hundreds of people, molded them personally. You know, and I'm not, and that's real shit. You know, I got real impact out here, man. And niggas don't be showing love like they supposed to show love, bruh. You know, niggas will probably wait for a nigga to die to show some love, bruh. That's how weak some of y'all niggas is, bruh. Get what? Big Betty ain't never gonna die. See, y'all niggas ain't never gonna have that pleasure to martyr me, bruh. I'm outliving everybody, bruh. And you better try to outlive me, because if y'all start dying, I don't wanna hear that shit. Don't call me when niggas start dying, bruh. Call me while niggas is living. Don't not call me when motherfuckers start dying, bruh. Call me while you're living. You hear me? Do not call me when motherfuckers start dying. Call me while you're living. My number been the same for years, bro. I ain't hiding, I ain't running nowhere. It's the Real Talk Real Shit Podcast, man. I love my family, bro. Y'all stay up, man. Keep your shit tight. Do what I always been telling motherfuckers to do, bro. Spread love, bro. You know, and if this struck a nerve, tighten up as a family. Fuck that. You can't save your, uh, yeah, tighten up. Love y'all.